You're listening to Verified Speculation on 133.7, and a question for the listeners. Has anyone seen the Eternity of late? After reporting that she was heading to Rider Space, she fell off the face of the fucking map. Naturally, various people are claiming credit for her destruction in hopes of gaining some mad social media clout, but none so far have provided any proof. With the recent PFF actions, it's possible that the Eternity was contacted by a PFF or unaligned force. Time will tell if the Eternity, or the PXC civilian she was carrying, will return to us. How's it going back here? Oh, hey, Captain. Hello. Uh, just doing some patches on the engines there. They should yeah, be... Yeah, they keep falling down. Or falling down. They keep uh, snuttering. We're going to need to do a real repair ASAP. Yeah, we've, we've installed some extra lines, and they should be good to go for now. But you're right. We're going to have to do a full check over... Once we get a break. Yeah. We're approaching the planet now. Ace just informed me. Uh, I assume this is the final jump, if not one more. All right. That'll be good. Uh, good if I get a chance. To it's a uh, stretch. She's holding together. I'm sure. She's holding together just a little bit longer. Um, Mallard, are the civilians at the in the brig? Uh, yes, sir. We... We patched them up, and they're they're in there. Roger that. They're comfortable. I'm sure they're complaining, but it's what we have to do. We don't know what we're going to expect at the planetary surface, and the bridge most certainly is going to be the first thing to lose hull integrity. The the, the bridge, sir. Yeah, that's that's gone. Oh, the bridge. Sorry, the the hangar. Uh, it's oh. I've been operating on zero sleep. Yeah. Oh no, tell me about it, sir. I'm. I'm sleeping in the armory. Where where are you bunking currently? Um, Ace forcefully evicted some of the lower officers, and I took their quarters. <laughs> Lucky. But so far, I haven't been doing much of any bunking, mostly sleeping at my station. But I can complain when I'm dead, which is probably going to be tomorrow at this rate. Keep it up, uh, Lieutenant Commander. What the fuck is your rank? Uh, Lieutenant Commander, sir. Lieutenant Commander. That's what I thought. Yeah, Lieutenant Commander, not Commander. 
I mean, it's that. keep it's, it up, Frost. It's a pain uh, to say either. Yeah, yeah, impromptu promotions. Keep it up, uh, Frost. Well, do that. Mission to collapse in a chair for a second. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. Ow. Man, this stuff grows fucking fast, Warden. It does, doesn't it? Good to know, at least we have something to keep us fed. So here's a question. If you had to guess, how much of this wheat has been turned into, um... Bread? And how much has been turned into vodka? Oh. I didn't know we were supposed to turn it into bread. So 100%. <laughs> I, I, Wait, I, what? You can I, make look, bread? I heard rumors about it. I mean, I Mother didn't made a pizza the bread. other day. I don't. I just thought that was vodka. Well, I'll tell you what. I don't know what he may use to make the pizza, but I sure as hell wasn't wheat. Vodka bread. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Oh man, we got oranges or apples or plastic ornaments. Apples. Well, apples, oranges. What's uh, the difference between them, really? Uh, so those are real. I, who knows, man? Who knows? Why do these look like pomegranates? We're All getting right. close, so get ready to buckle up. We might do one more jump, I believe. Roger that, Cap. Anything uh, we should know about just yet? We've been running passive, so we're essentially blind. We don't know what's coming. So, be ready for anything. Roger Intel that. report seems to indicate this planet is fairly low on the priority list of things, but... Knowing our luck, who the hell knows. Hey, maybe this time our vacation won't be to a frozen hellhole, right? Knowing our luck, this time it's going to be too hot. I've been uh, meaning to bust out the space shorts. Yeah, yeah, the, the airtight space shorts. Mm-hmm. I've got great legs, Cap. I... In theory, I'm sure you do. In theory, I'm sure you do. But, uh... Let's avoid war crimes for now. Those are probably Roger. pale white. <laughs> flashbang. Willy Pete's. Roger that. I've heard of places that are so hot. People say you can cook eggs on like a, a, piece, a piece of metal. Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to try it. I don't know, just have, just hang around where Mallard mentioned something about changing the Osprey or the Eternity, and then crack an egg on, uh, on Dauphin's head. I think you'll have a similar effect. And oh, Warden, don't you let's, worry. What happened to your suit, man? We have better than that. This is all they had left. Uh, no. We got better than that. I'm sure we'll deal with it when we get to the planet. I know you're rigged like up for combat them. at all times, but surely we have something that isn't as scuffed as this. Is the captain judging my clothing? Man, I can't even see into your visor. It's so blurry. Isn't that standard I con affair? Cons. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, I'm pretty sure con those fan. shark teeth are con things. Did you pull yeah. that off a con body? I drew it myself. It's a, supposed to be a crocodile. That looks like shark teeth. That's a con. Marcus, that's a con thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that is a con thing. It's got eyeballs on the side. I drew it myself. Yeah, that is a shark. God damn it. Yep. Very much sharky. I, I think uh, Warden secretly is a uh, a con in disguise. <laughs> That's it. Who wants it first? Let's go. <laughs> oh, here, here comes the head cracking. Enjoy, oh, gentlemen. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, jump complete. Planet is in view. Roger that. Do we have a name for this thing? What are we calling it? Shithole number twelve. <laughs> I mean, that would work, but. Uh, looks like Earth calls it P-13. Okay, yeah, that's shithole 13. Uh, wh wh what do the locals call it? Uh, local name is... Safina. Safina. Beautiful name. They named a planet after a cat. Amazing. <sighs> looks like 
Daphina used to be a mining planet, <clears throat> but with resources running tight after the collapse, most parties deemed it inefficient to mine resources on planetary bodies. CDF declared it mostly lifeless, with only a couple scavengers here or there. Means it should be perfect for us. I suggest a geosynchronous orbit away from the first fleet. Uh, keep the planet between us and Bastille. Gotcha, yeah. I agree. Wait, why does my panel show a gas giant on there? Um, uh, that is a placeholder, sir. I can get right on that. Yeah, sure. <sighs> Any ideas for landing sites, plans, ideas yet? Actually, I do. I got some. So, thanks to Mallard, I was able to scrub through the CDF records. Uh, there is a ship that drifted into this planet after a battle. That would be Cutlass, an Aventine-class destroyer. Sounds vaguely familiar. Refresh my memory. That is because we blasted the ship in the opening salvos of our war with the CDF. Huh. That was... incredibly ironic. And now it gives us sustenance. Oh, Mallow's gonna be happy about that one. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to do it sooner or later. What do you say... Take our sensors active, do a quick sweep of the planet, very slowly, as low power as we can get away with, and see uh, see if we can find a potential good landing area, other information beyond just that crash ship. Captain, contact, dead front! It's early bird and two smaller vessels. Fuck. Uh, set, set general quarters. Yes, sir. General quarters, general quarters, all hands, man your battle station. Up and forward, starboard side, down and aft, forward side, second condition. One alpha throughout the ship. General quarters. Engineering ready. Every station is ready. ready. Helm is as ready as I can be. Tango reports ready. Roger that. All stations report ready. Sit rep, have they noticed us? What are they doing? They are currently stationary, 40 kilometers off our bow. Uh, I confirm. They're in planetary orbit. They're, wait, they're, they're transmitting in the blind. It's a comms request. Captain, that, that comms request is addressed to us. XO, are we at action stations? Yes, sir, all stations report ready. I mean, they know we're here, somewhere. All right, let's humor him. Patch him in. Hold position. Holding position. Captain Brock. It's good to finally get a face-to-face. -face. Well, as close to face-to-face -face as radio waves and multiple kilometers of void allow. Whom... Whom am I speaking to? Oh, simply a voice. A spokesman of sorts for the PFF and the civilians of this system as a whole. Okay. Skip the foreplay. I know you like speeches as much as I do. You knew we were coming here, and you're here to finish the job. <laughs> uh, yes, a recent weakness of mine, I admit. But not so fast. I've been waiting for you. I couldn't follow you into rider space, so I took my chances here, and I was right. The mighty eternity, with no allies to run to. How fast the system forgets what you have given. Alright, now we're going for flattery. Let's just get to the fight already. Enough gloating. Uh, apologies. I once admired you. In fact, I still do. I thought you were going to be the beacon to unite this system, stopping the bloodshed, bringing us back to Earth. And yet that seems to be quite the fairy tale now. I'm just as disappointed as you. Oh, I don't blame you for it. In fact, I believe everything you say. And like the leaders of this system, you're a man of your word. Which is why I also believe you when you stated the Eternity has outlived their usefulness, as the last remaining vessel of a dead faction. So I offer you this. Join us. Here you have the civilians on your side, the soul of the system, and a legitimate chance of doing good for them and the system as a whole. A second chance to reverse the tides of war and get the system to stop fighting each other for one damn second, and just maybe be ready for that EDF threat. That is tempting. Indeed, Captain. 
I know more than most. I've seen the Eternity aimlessly struggling to complete her mission. A feeling I know all too well. And with the threat of the EDF looming, you're on the clock. No true friends, no one willing to see your mission through without strings or attachments. It's laughable. The so-called leaders of this system were told of an existential threat, and we are on the brink of the largest war this system has ever seen. I'm offering you that which you sought this whole time, an ally that believes in your goals unilaterally. Unite the outer reach, then the inner, stop the senseless wars, the bloodshed, and if needed, prepare for that final day of judgment. You will have the PFF at your back and soon, with you, the whole civilian population. Captain, I offer you a purpose again, a mission renewed, a reason to fight, a reason to care. <sighs> Sir, wh what is your name? Edward Raymond. Well, Raymond, what you've said, what you offered is, is right. We've, we have been lacking a clear path forward. Our goals are farther than they've ever been. Chances, non-existence. And here you stand ahead of us, threatening to end our existence. No. I offer a change to that, to force the hand of fate in your direction. You're not wrong. If we did ally together, together we could... Shit, we, we could succeed. Might be easier than anything before it. Your, your end goals are noble, not clouded by power or conquest. You see, you and I are not so different. Perhaps. If I was in your shoes and you were in mine, perhaps we would have followed the same path. I shall send a shuttle over. Let's talk face to face. One thing that I always feared. Something that torments me to this very day. Day and night. My goals, my dreams, my missions, everything I've done. Were they righteous? No, they have to be. They must be. But the Riders? Was their vision of goals, their future, invalid because of mine? How about the 11th Fleet? Were their desires of freedom enough to justify their destruction? The CPR? They claim something similar. Is their dream invalid because of mine? But those factions want nothing but power and control. They wanted control to pursue their vision of success. And that's... You see, that's where you and I differ. I know what I must do. I know where I must go. And perhaps in a different life, maybe we were the same. But I will never, ever compromise on my way there. I've seen the radio waves on passive throughout the system. I've seen what the PFF has done. You have lost your way. Everyone throughout history thinks the means always justify the end. But no one considers that they're the villain in their own story that human nature has blinded them to the fact that everyone, the CPRs, the Riders, the Winged Hussars, the VPC, the First, all of them have their vision of victory. All of them equally valid. Whoever wins, wins. No one is good, no one is bad. One thing I have learned in my, in my time as captain, in my time in the EFN, what separates us is how we get there. And I will never compromise in that regard. You attack civilian infrastructure. You use the innocents as pawns as shield. Do not think we are not listening to the destined destruction you are sowing across the system to achieve your goals. Right now, Captain, it's you stripping us of the option to achieve our goals tastefully. It's you making a grave error, gallivanting around in that space whale of yours, making decisions for others with no authority except your word. History will paint you as the tyrant, one way or the other. I guess we will see, but at least I know my consciousness is clear on that path I take. Oh, and one more thing. You, we might be further than ever from our goals, our mission. We might be alone, without friends. But not once did we ever lose a reason to fight. I see every single day in the crew, my crew, determination and a desire to make a chance, and a willingness to die for those that stand by our side. And that is always worth fighting for. Helm, XO, cut comms. Helm, all ahead full, prepare for combat. Alert the crew. All ahead full. Silenced. 
talk to Left standard rudder, 10 degrees. Left standard rudder, 10 degrees. What are we looking at, gentlemen? Well, 40,000 meters away, one early bird. Roger that. Exo, you said there's a, there's also a destroyer on long range scans? Two smaller vessels, sir, most likely destroyers. Roger that. Helm, steady as she goes. Steady as she goes. Dorsal Ventral, stand by on weapons release. What do we got? What systems are back online? We've got full weapons, sir. Roger that. How are secondaries looking, XO? Most of our secondaries are fried, but those that remain are fully operational, ready to fight. Roger that. Confirming, Captain, you said weapons release on all enemy targets? Stand by for weapons release. Stand by for weapons release. I thought. XO. This may be it, but at least we die with a full heart. I cannot abide by those that use destructions and violence to justify a means to their end. The only way we can make a chance to change anything in this system is if we get through that ship, get on the planet, and get resources. That is the only option remaining. We have to take this fight. You know, Captain, we've been through worse. Let's ride. Indeed. Uh, We're not wrong, done. wrong, wrong force, not. Dolphin. Wrong force. What should I say? I don't know. What does the Navy say? Bend over. No, just, just kidding. Focus <laughs> up, gentlemen. <laughs> uh, sir, uh, damage control has, indi has indicated that uh, Ventral be the primary source of fire as uh, Dorsal is weak on armor. So we want to take most of the fight on our Ventral side. Roger that. We'll do what we can. I have to say, it did sound pretty convincing at first. They always do. I think the most scummy people sound the most convincing. The most arrogant and the most evil sound the most confident, the most capable, the most bold. DD passing. DD really five clicks behind us. Right hard right. over. Dampeners on. Right hard over. Up uh, early buds. Right five kilometers rear. Button hook. Button hook. Nose hot on early bird. Nose hot on early bird. Hostile target of, uh, fire rate. Uh, fire rate unrestricted. Fire at targets of opportunity. Priority target is early bird. Confirms. Helm, you are weapons free with whatever fire. lances we have remaining. Helm, Eight jump firm. the ship now. Inform the crew. Need the uh, inhibitor off. Do it. Inhibitor off. Jumping. Jump. Jump. Right hard over. Right hard over. Jump in process. Hold on. Contact close right. All weapons release. Automated fire. Automated fire. Aye. Return to manual control. Manual control. Manual control. Also destroyer. Right, right hard over. Nose hot on the destroyer. Right hard over. Nose hot destroyer. Automated fire. Fifty percent. Acknowledge. There, Baba. One point. Shield for thirty percent. Shield for twenty percent. Dolphin, inform damage control. We're about to take a lot of damage. Hit it with the lance, K Max. Do what you do best. Nose up. Keep on him. Keep on him. DG has been notified. All ahead full. All ahead full. Steady she goes. Steady she goes. All ahead full. Nose hot on early bird. Dampeners off. Stand by the jump. 0%. Nose hot, early bird, neighbors off.
Nose hot early bird. Jump the ship. Inform the crew. Informing. Jump at the ship. Crew has been informed. Come about onto the early bird. Manual fire. Let me get about on the early bird. Hit it with that, Lance K Max. Do what you do best. Dorsal automated. They're jumping. Pooch, come on! There we go! Asunder! Brace for impact! Brace for impact! Oh, Jesus! That's your Heavy cruiser, early bird, destroy! Nose, uh, helm, nose hot on the enemy destroyer. Closest nose one, uh, whichever one you see first. XO, go tear some, go tear some people a new asshole. I want my fucking thrusters online. Yes, sir! Dorsal ventral, um, take over manual control, otherwise it's gonna target the cruiser. Priority will be enemy destroyers. Coming off of our port side now. Port side, coming up port side. So you're gonna have to handle sensory operations while I'm here. I'm too busy working these guns. Yeah, do it. Confirmed. Not even nor within 700 meters. Closing to 600. I'll stop. I'll stop. I'll stop. Right hard over. Right hard over. Nose hot on enemy destroyer. Hydrogen back online. Good job, Can't Dolphin. Damage control. Close distance with that enemy well destroyer. Played. Helm, you got full thrust authority back. Automated full fire. Thrust. Automated accelerating. Fire. Door closing to four kilometers. Observations. I want to pucker because those enemy ships are fucking so close. Guns are not firing. Roger that. Yeah. We'll switch to manual then. Vent Ventral is. Ventral has confirmed two guns out of ammo. On the ma on the last one. Roger that. Inform damage control. Working on Turn it. Turn on inhibitor. Inhibitor now. Good hit on destroyer. Gauge. Come about, nose hot on that thing. Let's kill that bitch. Pardon my language. Come Good around. shot, Ventral. Right. Enough. Target is at point blank. Make that hit. Right hard over. Right hard over. Full reverse. Full reverse. He's trying to stay in our blind spot. How's that working for him? Not at all, sir. Ass gun is hitting him. Don't roll, don't roll, don't roll. We were good. Venture confirms really good. hit on destroyer. I'll stop, I'll stop. Finish him off. I'll stop. Destroyer Russellberry, destroyed! All head full. Let's kill that last one. Lance is out of ammunition. Acknowledged. God, we're burning the fucking candle here. There's almost nothing left on this ship. Roll 180. Roll, roll left. 180. Rolling left. 180. Come on, Ventral. He's right in front of you. Dorsal going for shot. Dorsal going. Left hard order. Steady, steady, more, steady, more, more, steady. More, more, more. Good. Left standard. Hit. Left hard. Left hard. Left hard. Give me another roll left. 20 degrees. Roll left. 20 degrees. Still too low. That's it. That's it. Ventral Hold. confirms hit on destroyer. Finish him off. That's Mega hit on destroyer. Send that ship to the deep. Come on. Keep hitting him. His engines are out. That's it. All guns, cease fire, cease fire. He's fired. Oh. Secondary is off. I'll stop. Thank you. 
I'll stop. Not Major even Borg disabled. Part a, uh, a a party uh, split up into two groups, one for that destroyer, and a second to part the fighters to go look for uh, look for that cruiser. If we can find that body, that's a shitload of resources. That should uh, fast yes, track sir. us to increase our ability to work on this planet. We only have about twenty minutes before I want to displace out of this battle site. Yes, sir. Roger that. Let's get to it. XO. Good shit today. Let everyone know. Really good shit today. Yes, sir. I'm grabbing a drink on my way out. Good shit, right, KMX. Take... You always pull through when it counts. And sometimes when it doesn't count, but, you know, it really fucking counted this time. <laughs> fighters roll call, fighters roll call. Report to hangar to be your fighters. We're gonna need fat Larry pilots. I'll send Mecra over for you. I'll send Mecra over for you. Mecra, you up here still? Confirm, sir. I'm here. You're, fly you're flying the fattest of Larrys. Get over there. All right, sir, cargo. heading now. All oh, cargo survived. Roger that. Let Mother uh -huh. depart the fighters, guys. Sabers, report Sabers designation report and depart. depart. Saber 2, uh, low fuel, but standing by. Saber, Saber 2, you're, you're authorized. authorized. XO, I appreciate that, uh, whatever you did for those guns there right at the end, I assume you dropped the convergences? Aye. That was good shit. Appreciate it. Our XO here is a veteran of very many wars. You know what mm. he knows what he's about. I miss the days I when he tell. was on guns. Those are good times. You can always ask me to take that post again, sir. Hey, we need to we need to let the new guys have a chance to feel good about themselves, right? <laughs> Oof. Of course. Unless it's Tiber's cooking, then then we don't let him feel good about it. Then then we mock him relentlessly. No, no, that's where we definitely need the new people to take over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, oh, that's... we've got Raptor now. Happy to confirm that our indigestion rates have dropped dramatically since Raptor has shown up. I've noticed we we don't have clogged toilets nearly as much anymore. Uh, that's that. Look, we barely have toilets half the time at this point, though. Let's be real. Uh, Mother, can we request departure of the Dragonfly to assist in salvaging the Destroyer? Or can right. we get the Eternity closer? Mother, you're good. Go ahead. Okay, thank you, Captain. Uh, Dragonfly, you've been authorized for departure. Please proceed Understood. to the other two. I'll check our power. Anger, this is uh, Fat Larry. Please come in. Fat Larry, come in. This is Anger. Uh, please designate who I am to follow in the Fat Larry. Fat Larry, you are to link up with fighters and search for the cruiser. That Larry confirms. Please proceed to confirms. please proceed to away team channel. Understood. Uh, Dragonfly drop down to away two. I just so it's uh, my my hand. See, here's the honest thing. Everyone thinks you got steely nerves. My hands are shaking right now after that one. But uh, we too. got through it, and that's all that matters. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, I don't cool. know. Cool. Uh, we might make a. A Navy gal out of you yet. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah, this life is uh, definitely not what I expected. But, yeah. Wow. I just noticed this thing. I, I think I'm going to need some time later. Hey, Vera. We've, uh... Hey, oh. um, for, as people shuttle in and out of the airlock, I'd like you to, I mean, not to tell you to do your job, but I'd like you to double check everyone in the heat of the moment. People tend to forget if they're hit or not, if they're concussed. I want you to double check on everyone. Okay, I'll head down to the hangar bay and do that now. Yeah, they should be shuttling in and out, so. Alright. You don't need to check K-Mac. I know he's already sick. Damn sick, if you know what I mean. Good job, yeah. K-Mac. <laughs> sir? We're fucked if another force attacks. There's nothing we can do, to be honest. Grab K-Max, grind down the civilian infrastructure in the hangar. Yes, sir. We're gonna need that flight deck and the plant. The civilians probably want to stretch their legs down there anyway once we have something secure. All right. Get the way, Team One. Sit, Rep. We have located the uh, destroyed early bird. Uh, it looks like one weapon is still active on it. Once Larry and the other fighter get here, we'll, we will deal with that. 
Roger that. Assume hostiles on board, clear it out, drop a GPS coordinate, we'll show up. Copy. Roger that. Eternity Actual out. Eternity, this is Fat Larry. Please come in. This is Eternity Actual. Go. Uh, uh, unfortunately to report, both fighters are downed in automated defenses of the ship. Uh, we need the recovery and disablement of the armaments on the, the husk. Roger I'm that. Right We're inbound. I'm right next to the Osprey. Should I go? Hang on. No, no. We'll, we'll bring the Eternity in. XL, Hang report on, to the please. bridge. Did you just catch that? Yes, sir. Uh, it appears some of the defensives on the uh, the cruiser are still operational. I believe it took out one or both of the fighters. We're going to roll in, get someone on guns. Let's get one gun only so we can snipe it off and get the resources. We're really yes, going to need that now that we don't have any fucking fighters again. Yep. Commander, we clear to move in and begin salvaging? Yes, do it. Oh, 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 oh. Shoot. Oh. Love that. that was a love tap. I just think like, we've oh, been hello. getting out a lot more than just love taps today. Uh, we're picking up early bird's gravity. Oh, amazing. Alrighty. We're picking up everything. Everything. 